Welcome, I'm glad to have you here. This is Melanie Fine and I'm going to teach you how to set up Elmo to work with your Zoom classes. So the Elmo that we have at Culver City High School, uh, it, or at least the Elmo I have, I'm only making an assumption that everybody has the same type, is the TT12. So you need to download ImageMate software for the TT12. So I'm going to um, just type in Elmo TT12 software. One of the mistakes I made when I first tried this out is I went straight for the interactive toolbox that's written at the top of the page. However, this is for uh, newer versions of the Elmo, so they won't work with you. Again, we have the TT12. So we're looking for something that works with the TT12, which is right here. We need to download ImageMate 3. So I'm gonna click on that. You see it downloading to my desktop. Once it downloads, you're going to click on this. You're going to extract it. So let's see if I press extract, will that do it? Yes, extract all. So I'm going to extract it all. I'm just going to keep it in the same folder in which it was downloaded, which for me is my downloads folder. Then once it's extracted, let me click for the extracted version. Right, so this is the this is the zipped version. This is not what I want. Here's the extracted version without the zipper. I'm going to click in here. I have a Windows machine, so I'm going to double click on Windows. And um, before I do anything, I'm just going to do Read Me First. That seems a safe way to go. Read Me First. It says, please extract all files. We did that. Please ensure that your Elmo document camera is not connected to your computer during installation, so don't connect it yet. Double click on imagematesetup.bat to begin setup. Once this is complete, move to setup two if necessary. Okay, this is driver setup bat if necessary. Let's go to imagematesetup.bat to begin setup. So following the instructions, I'm going to double click on the ImageMate setup.bat and I'm going to allow it to make changes to my device. I'm going to select OK for English. Next. Accept. Next. Install. and finish. Now that the ImageMate software is installed, we need to connect the Elmo to the computer. So what you're going to need is a USB port. You've got a, excuse me, a cord that's one side is the standard USB and one side is a mini C, I believe that's a mini C. The mini C is the part that you're going to attach to the Elmo, so let's find that. Here it is right here. You see this port right here? This is where you're going to put that mini C. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I think it's a mini C. And you're going to plug that in right there. Do not use any other USB ports for this or it won't work. Okay, and then once we do that, you want to plug the other end into your computer, into your computer's USB port. Okay, so once we do that, I'm going to go back on screencast and show you how to work it with the software. When you're ready to start using your Elmo, make sure you turn it on until the light around it is not red but blue. And then you want to select the Elmo projector button. 
when you hear that da 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 or whatever that is, uh, that was my little singing. When you hear that, it tells you that the driver has recognized your Elmo. So I'm going to go to the ImageMate software, open it up, and sure enough, guess what? My Elmo is there and ready to use. So here I am, there's my hand, I'm going to write on this. It's upside down, that's not a good sign when I'm making a video, but I can press this button right here and turn it right side up. I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can use my regular focus controls on the Elmo itself like I do in class, and I can save it as an image to my desktop. And there it's giving me an option to save that. I'm not going to do that, but there are other controls here. So this would be to cap capture a picture right there. No, I don't want to save it. This could be video recording. Yeah, so if I wanted to record a, vi record a video, I'm wondering if this is the, so recording a video would be here. And I have to save it as something. And now it's recording what I'm write writing. So I can literally be teaching a class just for my Elmo and stop it when I'm finished. I don't know what this is. I imagine, oh, long time recording. So maybe it's just recording stills over a period of time. So those are various different things that you can do with the ImageMate software alone. But what I'm going to teach you next is how to incorporate the Elmo and ImageMate into Zoom.